we breathe life into our enemy's flesh, the dead make a fine host for my growing children. You may not. The spores hear only the circle. They dance to no other harmony. Ah, a visitor. You're a welcome sight. But let us observe the customs of the locals. The scholar's brow tenses. His voice spills into your skull, the spores connecting mind to mind. Blurg, proud member of the Society of Brilliance at your service. Or perhaps not. Mm, your mind is far more complex than that of the fungi. Understandable. We are small in number and rarely stay in one place for long. My colleagues and I are working to improve conditions in the Underdark. This need not be such a dire, hostile place. It's curious to find a surface dweller here. What has brought you down so deep? Then you've come to the right place. The hybridization among fungi in this circle is truly unique. The feeling is mutual, friend. I have only passing familiarity with the surface races. But I found that there is as much to learn from an individual as there is from a community. So it is with the Myconids. They live in harmonious unity. But each has a unique personality. Yes, but it has abundant natural resources. Spores, water orbs, Trillimac. I've studied them for years. This is not a wasteland. It is a glorious ecosystem. Every civilization here could thrive without conflict. I observed the fight from a distance. Combat is not my field of expertise, but the Myconids handled themselves well enough. I do enjoy a good bargain, if anything in my private collection is to your liking. Dwarf, Balin's his name. Right, never mind. Please. I know better than to promise coin to a stranger. He'll find his own way out, or he won't. I'll wait a little longer. What a bleeding waste it'll be to come all the way down here for nothing. Blender drow blade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent vigil. I can't recall anything this esoteric. There are too many rituals about swords to count. No matter how you grip or tug, the sword remains firmly lodged in the stone. Slender drow blade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent vigil.
The drow script inscribed on the blade flickers and glows. It rises from the stone, hanging in the air in silent offering. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, dear sweet gods! I mean, yes. I suppose I can. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. A possibility that's kept me away countless nights. But I don't have a clue where to start, other than play her games and play by the rules. That's the only language devils listen to. She could kill me for one, and that's not the worst of it. My contract is very clear. I can bring Mazora no harm. She'll have to let me out of my pact willingly. The only way out is if I can out-bargain her. We're standing here with nothing but the clothes on our backs and the worms in our heads. We can. I'm sure of it. How glad I am that you see me as more than my patron's pet. Fate spins along as it should. I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. You haven't been using the Parasite's power. You think you don't need it. But things haven't gone as you expected. You hoped a druid as powerful as Halsin might be able to remove your tadpole. But he couldn't. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. There is. But you'll need to think beyond local healers. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. You were lucky that Halsin knew this. His instincts are right. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. The Absolute's aims are not yet clear to me, but its progress towards domination is clear. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute and believe it to be a god. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be Mind Flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. Because I am just like you, and I need an ally. Just like you, I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. 
I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. The power I used to protect you, I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. Stop! Stop! People bang! Mushrooms! Toxic! Scroll! Escape! My bag! Please! I've dropped it! Somewhere! Yes! That's... Yes! I'm fine. I just have to... And then... Here! God! I can finally breathe. Ah! Right, as... Uh, what were you saying? Yes, of course. For you. Your trouble. Ta. In memory of Myrna, a shining light in this dark world, may you forever gaze upon the lake you love to play in. Look at that. Got my useless old man back. I suppose that's your doing. His hands are empty as a whole. We'll have to send him back out soon enough. Please, Balin's got a job to do. We can leave when he's done it. Love? <laughs> Never heard of it. Balin's meek now, but he used to be a rotten old bastard. Treated me like an old shoe for 70 years. Losing his mind was the only good he ever did by me. vessel wobbles on the lake's murky waters. Thank you. 
Where's Gek? Who are you? You continue forward in silence until the lights of a camp twinkle through the murk. showed up we got trouble spit it out sergeant finally choked on true soul nears prick drug no the twat soul caused a rock fall trapped tighter than a ring on a fat finger you're shitting me you pay up that's the trouble he's got the gold on him sergeant's arm is falling off with all the gnome slaves she's been beating Who's the Hoon, Greyman? Another slave for the dig. Aye. One of those absolute crackpots. Found the Hoon sailing Gek's skiff. That's so. I... <sighs> you feel the slightest of stirrings in your head. The Dwergar is not infected, yet your minds resonate. Oh, I'll be! You ain't shitting! Felt the tingle. Your twat soul chum owes us a load of coin. You want through? Make a donation. Unclog your hole. Just shitting around. But I'm warning you, that twat soul ain't settled up soon. There'll be hell to pay for the lot of you cult buggers. Bugger off. <laughs> nah. Rockfall smashed them. Can't have them stinking up the place. <laughs> the half that weren't crushed are digging the true soul out of the wreckage. Seen her run with a barrel under her arm. Just a small one, but enough to blow the drow out. Someone should grab it. Slaves are never gonna manage with pickaxes. Can't go chasing maybes. The sergeants are ticket in. Oh, would you look at that, Kerr? Someone's having a listen. A shiver runs through you. Your mind is awash with ancient resentments. True soul, no less. What do you think, Kerr? Should we take Nia's debt off him? You don't need to ask twice. Your blade ready, Kerr. Drop it, Brithvar. He chopped this one, and Nia won't pay a damn copper. Fine. Spill what you want, true soul, before I choke on your stench. Yet you got that twat soul stench. If I didn't know better, I'd say a mind flayer shat a worm in your brain. Should split your head open and poke around in there if you lot don't pay up. The shiver returns. This time it's colder, sharper. I ain't parleying with more twat souls. 
That stench don't lie. Revenge, eh? In that case, I got a proposal. Want to earn some gold? Ain't my gold I'm offering. It's the true souls. Thrins after the absolute glory. That's why she's got those slaves digging for Nia. But we ain't need glory. Just coin. And Nia's got plenty. Help Thryn free Nia. Then you and my chums grind him up. Whatever the spoils, we'll drop you a fat cut. You in? Is, but first, we need to take care of something. You've seen that weird orb I floating about? Knife it, and don't get caught. The cult watches through it, and we can't risk more twat souls showing up. You still standing about? Get on it. Some days back, a slave gnome bolted with smoke powder. Handy stuff. Her crew know more than they're letting on. See if you can get them to talk. Now move. You're hogging my air. How peculiar. Smooth face. Cobbled edges. They're a sign. They must be. A sun dweller in these parts. Look here, my topside friend. I need fresh eyes, and I doubt I'll find fresher. As rare as a smile in Shindlerin, you might say. But I've no skill for slaving. I prefer chisel to cane. But these learned eyes reach their limits, and so I must humbly request yours. The rock. The rubble, all of it, if I may be so bold. Take a look. Tell me what you see. And be thorough. Statues meandering curves and golden edges stand out against the weathered masonry behind it. Two styles, two eras. The statue was carved from newer stone and erected by latecomers to this ancient fortress. Anything standing out? and stone bricks of various sizes clutter the corridor, many split cleanly in two, yet some walls remain fully intact. No quake brought these rocks down. They were smashed through in an instant. Something big charged through here. Something very big. 
What do you think? Several glassy stones stand out in the debris. Their borders are coated with tiny yellow crystals. The hottest of flames smoothed the stone and left sulfuric crystals behind. The fires of the hells have touched Grimforge. Incredible! An entire history, risen from dirt and debris. Picture it. An ancient city, hewn from the stone by disciples of Shah, later abandoned. Untold centuries later, a new tribe revives it. Fresh walls, fresh sculptures. Until a great hell beast charges through, toppling the walls and crushing the people. That explains the infernal plate I found. Perhaps you might have use of it. But my work has only begun. There is more still to find. I must get to it. Well, let's see what you've got. You, grab a cane and whip these Drugnin beasts into shape. That rubble needs clearing, and my patience is hanging on by an arse whisker. Don't think I won't thrash you harder than the Roth, eh? Something spooks the dumb shits, so stop your join and get to working. Drugnin Hoon, I'll split you from head to hole. Speak. It is a certainty. I had assumed our parasites served a Geich elder, but I believe they serve a greater master still. Buffoonery. And you believe it no more than I do. Whatever this voice, whomever this master, it dominates dreams and unites minds. This true soul near stuck behind a rockfall, is he? Forgive me if I'm in no hurry to go digging him out. It's said that anyone who bathes in the river of blood emerges as one born anew. It's a lot like that, I imagine. I feel the weight of these pawns on my head, curling upwards like a mammoth's tusks. I feel these ridges snaking down my neck. Not to mention a few bumps and prongs in unmentionable places. But I haven't seen my reflection just yet. Be my mirror. What do you see? It's because you know the heart lurking under the horns. The people will see a curiosity, maybe even a beast hungry for their souls. But I will slay their monsters, keep them safe. And one day they will see the Blade of Frontiers again. They're in his skull. All the more reason to clear out. Clan, grab your gear, wipe your asses. Time I scrammed before more pricks from Moonrise Towers move in. Someone's gone picking my pockets, you chaff. You want coin? There's plenty of corpses to sack.
You do that. Clan property. They come with us. You. Your mouth's got the might to back it. No pricks! You're off the hook! Scram before I get my senses! Your brain going mushy, Shark. That's where those absolute freaks hold up. Goblins, drow, gnolls, even humans. Ain't no one they won't try to turn. The way I hear tell, some prick there calls the shots. The General near called him. And there ain't no way I'm sticking around long enough to meet him. Thank you. For saving Beldron, I mean. I just wish... Well, it's too late now. Thank you. I've lost so much. Please, just... just let me be. My sister! Dead by Nia's hand! Mana, I'm so sorry. <laughs> 